Hello, and welcome back to Arcanum. I'm your host, The Social Solipsist, and... You know, loading back into this... Well, it's, it's uh, gotten into some, uh, some other stringed instruments now, but I was really enjoying just the, like, solo cello that was going there. It's still in the mix, but... The music's nice that it's a bit different from uh, some of the other areas. We've been listening to so many of these tracks for, you know hundreds of episodes that having something a little bit different is kind of nice so we are on the outskirts of what's this place called again i don't even remember anyway we're in the vendegroth wastes trying to figure out what's going on here and seeing if we can't figure out what the where the uh vendegroth device is um we poked our head around the outside a little bit and tried to see what was going on but it was hard to see um, however, there is this elf guard here, so I think we should talk to him or her. Greetings, traveler. What is this place? He looks you over for a moment before responding. Ah, it is you. Jorian told us to be expecting you. You may enter. Thank you, but who is Jorian? And what is this place? Jorian the Diviner. He is inside, waiting for you. In this place, this place is Tula, the city of mages. To enter, just walk through the pillars. Neat. Well, those do appear to, well, they might not be alive, but they are living enough. So they've got a magic school, I guess. What's going on here? Greetings, stranger. Your countenance shines brightly from your pure heart. Thanks. To both of you, I guess. Um. Huh. I mean, they went so far as to, you know, even put in the little details, like the... The, this is these chests say they're magically held instead of locked. Could have sworn I heard a uh, flame elemental for a moment in the background there, but oops. Um, did I accidentally? Did I do that? Didn't mean to do that. When did I when did I equip this sword as well? I don't even remember. The last recording session I was um absent minded. Um I genuinely don't even remember whether this dagger I don't know if I just picked that up just now by accident or I think I equipped this because I was out of bullets for the uh Hold on a second. Let me just make sure before I realize that I've been making stuff up and have somehow managed to drop my gun. No, there it is. Okay. So, in the absence of bullets or fuel, um, or at least a plentiful amount of either, I guess that's what I'm doing. Um, I wish I knew what I just did, but okay. Hello? You're honored to have the pure of heart visit us here in Tula. It's interesting that, you know, obviously the place is magical and there's probably a lot of diviners, but um, you'd think that... Oh, it took him a long time to stop saying that. Um, it's interesting that they make such a fuss about what a good person I am. The chug is here. Hello. Human wizard. It is nice to meet you. Hello, sir. Might I ask your name? I am Herzod Monk, apprentice mage in the College of Phantasm. How do you do, sir? Very well, thank you. Might I ask you a few questions, Herzod? Surely. What do you need to know? What can you tell me of Tula, Herzod? 
Tula? Oh, it's such a wonderful, it's a wonderful place. Full of such strange things and interesting people. If only I didn't have to do all this bloody schoolwork. How's a fellow supposed to enjoy himself if his nose is always in the books? Do you have much schooling left? Oh, not really. A few bothersome papers, some illusionary presentations. Nothing all that difficult. Of course, there is the final examination. What does that entail? There's a maze underneath Tula. It was built by an illusionist centuries ago. An old elf by the name of Falkin. In order to pass the final exam, I need to retrieve a platinum chalice from the middle of Falkin's maze and bring it back to the master illusionist. It's not that I don't think I can do it. It's just that there's so much else I'd rather be doing. Huh. Hmm, perhaps I might be able to assist you. He gives you a sly look. Now there's a possibility. Yes, that just might work out nicely. That way I could run out later with the boys. There's a fireball tourney later this afternoon that I'd love to play in. Fine. And I've got an old scroll of Phantasmal Fiend around here for somewhere. Should we call that your payment? Done. Very good. The scroll is yours. Why don't you return with the chalice? The entrance to the maze is just out in the courtyard. It's an archway made of stone. You'll need this coin in order to pass through it and into the maze. He hands you a coin. I'll be here when you're done. Good day to you. Well, I certainly don't condone um, helping people cheat on their te or cheating on behalf of other people for their tests. People want to cheat on their own. That's one thing. Oh boy. Well, we should take a peek at these. Um, on the other hand, I'm kind of curious what the uh, state of things will be. Well, what the repercussions, if any, will be if I if I go do that for him. It's just another dungeon. So, you know. All right, let's look at these books real quick. A treatise on the Nature of Reality. Do I want to read all this? I don't, really. Um, I'm just going to... You can pause and read these if you like. Um, but... Let's see here. How long is this one? Oh my god, it's so long. If I was less tired and my voice was less messed up right now, I might, but... The great work. Truth of magic is the truth of life. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's a lot of... One... one. True mysticism and the mastery of the magical arts. You know, I, as much as, as, as with many, as I've said before in this game, um, and on the, on the subject with many other RPGs, as much as I appreciate the, the depth of a game to have all these additional texts in them. You, you really do kind of have to be a... Oh my god, there's three more of them. Um, you do have to be some kind of psycho to actually sit there and read all of them. And there is certainly no... Uh, no guarantee that they will be of any quality. You know? But the flip side of that, of course, being if they are of good quality, then it's a shame for them to be buried in some random manuscript that most people won't read. God fucking poetry. No thank you. It's not what I that's not what I came to a video game to do. Read somebody's subpar poetry.
Is it just the fire? No, because there's fires out here. I just don't understand why the frame rate's so much better out here than it was in that building. This is interesting. Pelogian's pool. Oh, that's... Yep, that's a fire elemental. I wish I knew what all these... Oops. Hold on. Did I just activate that by walking over it? So that turned that one off. What? This is curious. This is more than I expected to be here. Okay. It says unlocked, but... Um... Huh. Okay. Okay, there's actually not a huge number of buildings here. I don't suppose... I assume this thing isn't hostile, but I don't know. Alright, let's go... We already went in there, let's go in here. Just another student. Alright. I'm actually surprised they're not more freaked out with me being like 100% technology. Um... Because I am effectively... Well, actually, I haven't checked. Um, yep, 100. <laughs> so, I feel like they should be freaking out more, probably, but... guys from before? I guess so. Well, nothing else to do. I suppose we should probably go inside. This building is pretty neat. It's got a very, like, Middle Eastern kind of Babylonian um, feel to it. Interesting. Think about all the assets. Well, at least that that I know of that are only here. On this, like, all these textures that only exist on this one building, as far as I'm aware. Just such a weird... I mean, it's greatly appreciated, but it's also pretty strange. Let's save just to be sure. Oh, this is substantial. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I want to make a beeline street there. That looks a bit too epic to jump jump right into. Master Mage. I am pleased. Greetings, Master. May I ask what college you have mastered? I am Edgar Gerald, Master of the Mental Spell College. What do you think of technology, sir? It's a frivolous waste of time, if you ask me. 
I cannot fathom the fascination that technology holds for many. Magic is clearly the more pro powerful tool. Ah, well, it is said that a fool is born every moment. Please explain the Magical College of Mental to me. Certainly. The Mental College deals with manipulating the mind of another person, or even beast. Incredibly useful against an adversary. The power of mental can be quite intoxicating. It is an easy power to abuse. Um, yes, I can see how it would be easy to abuse such power. Hmm, is there anything else, Jeremiah Sanchez? Uh, no, thank you for your time. Okay. Now I'm feeling like this is all leading up to something else. Or leading from something else, but it would be nice to know who I needed to talk to first. What college have you mastered? I'm Reese Jard, Master of Force. Um, do you feel threatened by the advancement of technology? Showing mild surprise. By technology, I should hardly think I should feel threatened by such a trifling matter. I've actually discussed this newest fashion with several visitors we have had of late. It seems a very limited instrument, completely inflexible to the will. It will not hold people's fancy for long. An interesting opinion. Thank you for sharing it with me. Oh, um, well, please explain force to me. The Magical College of Force deals with drawing upon the natural energies that surround us. Through extreme concentration and sheer volition, you can learn to draw this energy into yourself, shape it to your will, and then dispense it to do your bidding. It is an extremely powerful magic. Have you heard of electrical, the technological opposite of force? I have not. I highly doubt this technology is even remotely equivalent to my, equivalent to my magic. From what I have heard, it is not possible to shape these technological items to your will at all and that each serves only a single purpose. How wasteful. If you look into it, I think the electrical discipline will, will surprise you. Hmm. Do you require anything further? No, thank you for your time. <clears throat> Take a peek at the map here. Ow. Oh. Of course, it's treating it like a dungeon. I gotta uncover everything myself. Okay. Yes, what do you want? Who are you? I'm Vedex, the master of hydromancy here in Tula. Hydromancy? The magic pertaining to the purest of ele uh, the purest of the elements, water. You must be the wanderer. How did you know that? He begins to pace, his arms folded behind him. Well, we have a situation which has developed since you have been here. We are not equipped. There's a good reason we only accept students who are of very young age, or those who have led sheltered lives. Travelers such as yourself are rare, and your effect on our students is easily controlled. What is your point? We cannot have immature minds that have been influenced by the outside world living here. Tula needs to maintain its philosophical purity, as it were, to retain our effectiveness as a refuge for pure magic. Since you have been here in Tula, a problem has arisen with one of our former students. What does this have to do with me? I am. We are here at Tula. We here at Tula are not much for open conflict. This could be a difficult situation to negotiate. I was wondering if you would care to help us out on this matter. Possibly, what would I need to do? I made the questionable choice of sending out one of our students to retrieve a gem that would be useful to me in my water magics. That was over 120 days ago. <laughs> Jesus, he's dead, dude. Do you want me to try to find him? He sighs. There is no need. He has returned and is waiting at the front gate, but he has been gone too long. We cannot possibly allow him to return to his studies here. He has been contaminated by the outside world. By the gods, he is even wearing technologically enhanced armor. 
Please continue. As I said, we are not much for open conflict. What we need you to do is to meet with him and convince him to give us the gem, and to give and to leave peaceably. This is no longer the place for him. I will give you a robe of fire resistance in consideration for your help in this matter. Um. What if he will not listen to reason? My only concern is the retrieval of the gem. What if he becomes violent? My only concern is the retrieval of the gem. I do not care whether he accepts his fate or not. It is his fate, nonetheless. Albert knew about the risks when he volunteered. Well, I don't particularly like this Master Mage, but a quest is a quest. Alright, I will return with the gem. Yeah, I'm not happy about that, but I'm hoping that it can play out a different way. If not, then... If it doesn't play out a way I like, then I suppose I can just bail on it. Yes, what do you want? Greetings, mistress. May I ask what college you have mastered? I am Nafta, mistress of fire. You don't say! <laughs> How do you feel about the spread of technology? Frowning. That plague, it should be scorched from the land. I cannot believe that we allow beasts, a beast that weakens our own powers to grow unchecked. It is preposterous. Can you explain fire and its magical qualities to me further? Ah, fire. All creatures great and small bound down to the power that is fire. To harness that strength at your whim. To see the, the first tiny spark spring from your hand. To watch it grow. To feel the heat. The power. Fragi fire is agile. Powerful. Deadly. Smiling wickedly. I love it. Awe-inspiring. Fire is truly potent magic, madam. Has my commentary sparked further questions, sir? No, thank you for your time. How many? Hold on. How many? Am I forgetting how many I am? I forgot that there are 16 of these. Oh boy. Okay. Well. We're going to leave the remainder of them to talk to next time on Arcanum. <laughs>